As many of you know, I just saw Hocus Pocus 1 for the first time the other day. My wife and many other people around me love it. It was okay, but extremely overrated and protected by nostalgia. Even my wife didn't like Hocus Pocus 2. It was bad. Full of modernisms to make it more relevant, the familial 90s adventure and wonder elements are replaced by eye-rolling teenage stereotypes that are completely void of any real development. There's a trend now, I think because of the MCU with style of humor, the common quippy thing, it's cringe-worthy at best. We chuckled once or twice, but mainly stared blankly at the screen like this. The campiness is so overdone, even in comparison to the original, that the tonal imbalance between the characters, the aesthetic, and the witches, that I was constantly annoyed at everything. The cheese is dialed to 11, but the cinematography looks like Riverdale on the CW. These things do not blend together well. And where's, where's the look of the original film? It doesn't feel like Hocus Pocus. And speaking of, I wish some more of the original actors had made a return for this one. Now I can understand being excited at seeing the witches again and the actresses. I absolutely hate how they portray witchcraft here. It's a very real and evil thing that Christians need to be wary of. And I'm not saying this as some sort of craze. I love Harry Potter, that's, but that's more fantastical. But this was presented in the original as an evil and dangerous thing, yet here it's redeemed and a book made of flesh becomes a good guy? What? The book stuff may have been an interesting idea, but it's disturbing when executed and really thought about and dissected. It ends with young witches discovering their power and they start doing the weird walk that the sisters do at the end. So the implication is they're going to turn into witches and eat children. The film has no idea of the ramifications of this plot device and I don't like the message it sends. The casual jokes about Satanism and virginity are here and Christians are made to look like complete buffoons and Puritans are the mascots and the jock who is placed for the Puritans as an idiot. It's grating, redundant, and I wish more people were less okay with this. Christianity is being made fun of here. I, I realized back in the day there were some problematic things that happened with the Salem witch trials and all of those things. People got hurt, people died. But the consistent mockery of my faith and against my God drives me nuts. Oh, don't get me started on the worst green screen I've seen in probably a decade. You know how people make fun of Attack of the Clones for having that awful green screen even though it pioneered the technology? Well, that's 20 years old and the, it looks ages better than anything in this movie. My gosh, it was terrible. And many scenes seem to have the green screen for no particular reason. I don't know if they shot this with the volume or if green screen was used. Entire production, the writing, the editing, all seems to be rushed in an attempt to cash in on nostalgia for this time of year. In my motto to always look for the good, I will say the climax of the film and how the sisters were defeated it's pretty poignant and honestly the best part. The thematic element of what absolute power demands, the sacrifice you have to make and how it all resolved was actually fairly touching. Credit where credit is due there as usual. I enjoyed that part. And Doug Jones as Billy is once again the best part of the movie. That man is a national treasure. If you enjoyed it, more power to you. I'm happy for that, honestly. I just didn't. And I feel bad because I'm, I'm really sad for my wife who was really disappointed and didn't like it either. I give Hocus Pocus 2 1.5 out of five stars. This ain't it, y'all. Are you a big fan of the original Hocus Pocus? Did you enjoy the second one? Have you been looking forward to it? If so, comment what you like below. I really like to hear what what stood out to people, what made it good for you, because it helps me maybe redeem some things. Not to be argumentative, but I like to hear what people enjoyed about a movie so I can see it in a new light. Please subscribe, and remember, always look for the good.